I'd now like to demonstrate our clocks and watches. We'll start with our low vision clocks. With our clocks, generally with the low vision we try to promote uh, contrast, high contrast. So this particular clock that I'm showing you here has black numbers with a white background. Uh, the arms on the clock, as you can see, are black as well to stand out. This is a wall clock. Again, you can see the contrast on this clock has a white on black contrast. Some people may see this better uh, than the black on white. It depends on each individual's vision. Again, the hands on this clock have the white hands with the black background to help stand out. And this clock can either function as a, a wall clock to hang or there's a stand that it can sit on a table. This low vision clock is a digital alarm clock. It has a two and a half inch size display with green numbers with a black background. And with this clock, you can set the alarm to a few different sounds. I'd now like to demonstrate our talking clocks. With all of the talking clocks, there's, there's going to be a button on the clock that you're going to push that's going to audibly announce the time. On this particular clock, they made the button big and green so it's easy to find and push. It's 5, 9, 10, so there I push the button and it announced the time to us. This particular clock also has an alarm and an hourly announce feature on it. This clock is called the pyramid clock. The advantage of this clock is that there's just one button at the top of the pyramid that you push to tell you the time. So you wouldn't accidentally hit um, any of the other set buttons on this clock um, to accidentally set the alarm or things of that sort. So at the top you push that button and it gives you the time. This clock also has, has a louder uh, speaker on it than some of the other clocks so it's easier to hear. This next clock uh, the button that you'd push to tell you the time is on the top of the clock. The advantage of this clock is that this will also give you the indoor temperature reading. So I push this button once. 1, 25 p.m., 71 degree Fahrenheit. It gives us the time and the temperature. This next clock I'd like to demonstrate is called our talking atomic clock. This clock will update itself during daylight savings time, so you do not need to reset it yourself. This clock, in order to, to hear the time on the top, has a bar that you push. The time is now 12 minutes past 11 a.m. And it gives you the time in a nice British accent. And if you push that bar twice... Today's Monday, October 27th. It gives you the date. Another nice feature on this clock is it's easy to set the alarm. On the front of the clock, on the bottom, there's a switch here, or a button I should say, that you push, and as you push it, four minutes to six a.m. It announces five minutes to six a.m. the time that you're gonna set the alarm for. And then on the side of the clock, once you get to the desired time, you turn the switch on. Alarm will be on at 5 minutes to 6 a.m. And it announces the time that you've set the alarm for. This next clock is also a talking atomic clock. Similar to the other clocks, the button that you push to tell you the time is going to be on top of the clock. This has a large bar that you can push. So if I push that... The time is now 14 minutes past 11 a.m. It gives us that time in the nice pleasant British accent again. This clock also has a calendar feature on it. Um, on the bottom of the clock here is the button you're going to push though to get to the, the calendar mode. So if I push that. Today's Monday, October 27th. 
it gives us the date. This clock also has a, a temperature reading on it. So it will read the indoor temperature. If I push this button again down here to get to the temperature mode. The room temperature is 73 degrees Fahrenheit. And it will also read the outdoor temperature. There's a small sensor that comes with the clock that you'd set outside that connects to this clock so you'll, it can read the temperature from the outside. With watches, there's three different modes uh, to utilize the watch. Uh, so one mode would be a braille mode where you would feel for the time. Another mode would be a low vision watch. So hopefully the, the number is large enough that you can see it. And the third mode would be a talking mode where you would push a button and hear the time. For the braille watches, at the six o'clock area, there's going to be a little clasp that opens up uh, the front part of the watch. And for each number, there's going to be a braille dot that designates for each number. So you feel for the, the hands and where they're pointing to feel for the time. The Braille watches come in both a man's and a lady's size. These are our low vision watches. So again, we're working with the high contrast. This particular low vision watch has the black numbers with the white background, making it easier to see. And if you see the white on black better, we also have that available. These also come in two different sizes, um, a man size and a lady size. The third option for our watches is going to be the talking watches. On all our watches there's going to be a button that you push that's going to audibly tell you the time. So on this particular watch the button is located on the right hand side of the watch. There's not a volume control with any of the talking watches, so you may have to put the watch up to your ear in order to hear the time. There's different styles that we carry for talking watches. This one is more of a, a male version uh, with a silver band. This watch has a plastic band. The button that you'd push for the time on this band is on the front of the watch. This is more of a female version of a talking watch, a little smaller in size. This one, the button is going to be on the side of the watch that you push. This one also has the analog face with the black hands the black numbers on a white background so you may be able to see it as well if you do have some vision. This watch is our talking atomic watch so similar to the atomic clocks this is going to update itself at daylight sav savings time so you don't have to reset it. This watch also comes with a calendar feature on it so besides the button that you would push to tell you the time, there's also a button that you push that would give you the date. Today is Monday, October 27, year 2014. For those of you that don't like to wear watches, we also carry a talking keychain clock. This unit has a keychain on it that you could fit, uh, you could hang on your purse, uh, put it in your pocket. Um, anywhere that you see convenient. On this uh, unit, on the face of the, the unit is the button you're going to push that tells you the time. It's a big gray button. 